Hello friends, this is Veronica. Welcome to my channel where we like to do more and spend less because oh no, we do not like to pay full price. Thank you. If you are returning, thank you for returning. It's been a hot minute since I've done a video. Um, I'm actually very <laughs> rusty today. So my apologies, I'm trying to get the lighting, trying to get the setup. I've always struggled with where should I make my videos with my background. Um, I don't love my current situation and that that has stopped me from making videos. But you know what? I said no more. I've been watching videos where people talk about not editing. They just do their videos when they feel like it, how they feel like it. They don't really care about editing, lighting. I'm trying to make it not so, I'm trying to care a little bit, lighting, background, um, editing. I'll try not to edit as much because that does keep me from making videos. It's been three months since I've made my last video. I did a double, double haul unboxing of Marc Jacobs. Um, and I have one of the cuties back here. In today's video, I wanna talk about denim. I'm wearing my trusty Western denim shirt by Levi's. Um, as some of you may know, if you are watching videos on Instagram and keeping up with all the handbag craze. So if you've been keeping up with the internet, YouTube, Instagram, denim craze, Coach came out with a denim collection. Well, several brands have come out with denim collections for this year, for spring. Some of them came out a little bit before that. But anyways, denim. I've always been a fan of denim. I love me some denim since I was very young in high school. Um, so I wanted to just share with you some of the denim stuff that I have <clears throat> as far as handbags because I have so many jeans, so many denim jackets. I have so many denim shirts. I even have denim shoes, which I'm gonna share. But, uh, you know, denim is just a fabric I've always loved. I've always loved the way it looked, the way it felt. It's very casual, but a lot of people, you know, you could dress it up, dress it down, dark denim, light denim. Who remembers the acid faded denim back in the day? Uh, yeah, I think I might've had a pair or two. But anyways, denim is just one of those great fabrics that is, um, you know, timeless, classic, at least in my opinion. So today I'm going to share some of my denim collection. I've been debating on getting something from the Coach collection, uh, but I don't know. There's something about it that's just, I've liked other previous denim uh, collections they had one or two years ago, which I didn't buy anything and I regret it now. Uh, but this year's, and I'll post pictures, this year's denim collection, there's just, they're nice and cute, but there's something about it that is just not, not, not giving for me, you know, and I've come to realize, well, one thing is I prefer silver, um, silver hardware, which is fine, whatever. They do have a black denim bag, tabby shoulder bag quilted with uh, silver, I'll post a picture. But I was thinking the blue denim, why don't I like it? What is it about it that is not making me love it? And I think it's the stitching. So um, if you look at it, and like I said, I'll post a picture here if it lets me. Um, I think it's the stitching. The new Coach denim has like a yellow stitching. And for some reason, it's just, it's bothering me. I could live with the goldish brass um, hardware, but that yellow stitching is bothering me. So many, many months ago around, I would say last summer, if you don't watch Jack's Bag Attack, she has bags from every brand, every decade, so many of them. So one day she was showing some of her Coach bags. And she showed this bag. Yep, this is the bag. She showed this not quite vintage, almost vintage coach hobo style bag from, I believe it's 2007. 
Um, so she was showing it there and I remember this bag and I remember wanting it and I didn't buy it because, you know, I was a poor college student. So, um, actually I was already out of college, but I was, you know, it was a lot of money for me back then. So I never bought it and she showed it and I sent her a message saying, Hey, if you ever want to get rid of that bag or sell it, let me know. I'll buy it from you. Um, and then she messaged me back and said, hey, actually, I have two of them. I could sell you one of them. Yes, ma'am. So she sold it to me. Don't ask me for how much. I don't remember. It wasn't a whole lot. Um, she actually gave me a very, very good deal. Um, so this is kind of almost vintage coach with the big C's denim it's really actually very sturdy kind of heavy denim it has yes it has the gold brass um hardware which i'm okay with there we go i'm okay with it um and i think it's the stitching i think it's the white stitching that you know i like um some of the new coach i noticed they use like navy blue or dark leather. I like the contrast of the denim with the brown leather and the white stitching. It's like a hobo style, excellent condition. Um, so I used this in the summer when I went on vacation. It was a little heavy though. So just, just be, you know, warn that some of these, I don't know about the new ones, but these older coach denims, they're a little on the heavy side. Um, I had to do minimal cleaning to it, but I love it, you guys. I love it. I think I love it too because it's different. So I'm not gonna see, I'm not gonna see a lot of people wearing this Coach Denim um, bag as opposed to the other ones. But I think, like I said, I think the reason I don't love the new Coach um, Denim bags, it's the yellow stitching. Something about it is just, no, it just throws me off. So this one has white stitching with the leather. Um, and yeah, I love it, you guys. I love it. I'll be using it a lot more this spring and the summertime. Um, I didn't use it in the winter because um, we got a lot of rain in California this year. Why? I have no idea. We usually don't, but it rained a lot, so I did not want to get it ruined. This is not removable, which is the only thing that... Um, you know, would have been nice if it was removable. Um, so maybe you could add another strap to this part and make it crossbody. I don't know. But thank you, Jackie from Jack's Bag Attack for selling me this beautiful bag. I love it. So this is my one and only Coach denim item. I might get the wallet or the little, um, what is it called? Card case. But for now, my one and only Coach denim and I love it okay oh I'm lying I do have another coach denim item okay so here it is this is from the outlet okay and actually the man my man bought this from himself we were at the outlet he saw it he wanted like a bum cross body type of bag he bought it uh, but I think once we got it home he realized that it's probably not, I don't know, he didn't like the way it fit. He said, I'm gonna let you have it. And again, this has actually, this does have the navy leather, dark navy leather, and like a, the stitching is not yellow. It's like a lightish blue, not quite white. Uh, but I have not used it yet. I'm going to use it. This is from the outlet. It has, you know, pocket here, a zip pocket in the back. Um, so yeah, new to me, he didn't want it after all. He didn't want it, so I said, sure, I'll take it. Um, I think we took off the tag, but I still have the little thing there. But yeah, this is my other one. Um, they did have the black denim bags at the outlet that I like. And again, I waited too long and they sold out. I need to stop doing that. I wait because I'm waiting for a sale because you guys know we don't like to pay full price. And this one, I think we got under $100, like 80 some dollars. So um, I will be using this again, springtime, summer. Um, so yeah, uh, oh, it actually looks kind of good with this shirt. So 
I have two coach denim. Um, so the other denim item that I have that I've been absolutely loving, which was my last video that I made, is this Marc Jacobs Faded Denim Monogram, the tote bag. You guys, I've been wanting a Marc Jacobs tote bag for about three years now. Let's see, I started watching videos about bags in 2020, you know, during... I started watching videos and I saw somebody post about the Marc Jacobs. I've always liked handbags, but I've never really been um, watching videos about it. So during the, the pandemic, I started watching videos, you know, your home, what to do, watch videos. So I got into videos about handbags. Again, I've always loved handbags. I've always had them. You know, I just never really watched videos about them. So I started watching videos. Um, Sarah Hill's Secret, if you guys don't know him, he has a lot of good videos. He posted about his, um, Marc Jacobs, the tote bag, and I was like, oh, that's a cool bag. It was the canvas one initially, and then they made leather ones, and then he started making denim ones, and then, uh, some people bought the Marc Jacobs, uh, tote bag, the patchwork denim one. Uh, I wanted it. Again, I waited too long, sold out came back in stock but by then I had already gotten this one so anyways I got this one mega mega super deal at Nina Marcus last call this is the bigger size the medium I think I really wanted the smaller size but hey if you find this for under $200 I think I paid like 160 some dollars for it um, originally from 350 so yeah I was not gonna say no I've used it a lot um it does come with a strap. Oh, and I hung my little coach heart there. You see, there we go. Uh, but I love it so much that I'm going to be getting another Marc Jacobs tote bag in the leather this time for my birthday. My birthday's coming up in about less month and a half or so. I just need to decide on the color. But you guys, this Marc Jacobs denim is really, really good too. So if you wanted in a bag i know recently melissa from melissa's corner got the um, one with the sparkles with like the rhinestones on it very very cute i'm not a sparkle kind of girl but it's very cute and um they also they also uh, they also have the deconstructed denim bags um mar jacobs just came out with love them i love the style i love the patchwork i love they're very like edgy and artsy, love it. But the prices are like double. I think one of the tote bags is like $700 and the other sack bag is like $600. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark Jacobs, but I'm not gonna be paying those prices for your denim bags, okay? Um, but you guys, if they, they do have these in the small and the mini, I think. Um, so if you're interested, if you do not, if you want a denim bag and you do not want to get the coach, look into the Marc Jacobs um, bag. You guys, I love it. I love it. I really do love it. It holds a whole lot. Um, I have a book here that I'm reading that I carry with me sometimes. I have, you know, my little wristlet, my coach wallet. Um, you, it obviously fits my iPad. I don't know what size this is. The man gave me this. But it fits my iPad and it'll probably even fit my MacBook back there. So it holds a lot. It's really great. It looks very cool. Um, every time I wear it, I, I notice people kind of checking me out. They don't say nothing, but they check me out. Um, so yeah, these are my three denim bags. And, and because we're on the denim, you guys, this is a really great bag. I love it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you should look into the Marc Jacobs denim if you want a denim bag that's not super expensive and is not from Coach, okay? Unless you want the denim from Louis Vuitton bags, which are cool. That's probably the only Louis Vuitton bag that I would really want, but no, 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 no. We are not paying Louis Vuitton prices. Um, and my other 
denim accessory would be sneakers. Actually, Marc Jacobs had some denim sneakers that I wanted. Again, I waited too long for them to go on sale and then they sold out and then I can't buy them in my size. Uh, but a couple other designers have come out with, um, like luxury designers have come out with denim um, sneakers, trainers, uh, but I'm not paying, I paid a thousand plus dollars for denim sneakers. So I found these very, very cute Vans sneakers. I've been a Vans girl since I was a little girl, like six, seven years old. I got my first pair. So, and again, I'm in California where they started. So I remember as a kid going to the Vans store, my mom um, actually custom ordering our Vans and then two, three weeks later, we'd come and pick them up. Um, and they were like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. But anyways, I got these, are style 93, um, a 90s girl, uh, meaning I was a teenager in the 90s. So I love these styles. I love Mary Jane's. I got these. I haven't worn them too much because again, our weather hasn't been super great, but I do want to find a designer pair of sneakers in denim. Um, and hopefully get a deal on them. But yeah, you guys, um, I wore them this weekend. I wore my, I didn't take a picture, but I wore my van, denim vans. I believe these are style 93, Mary Jane style. Um, I think I got them on sale, but they looked very cute with my Marc Jacobs tote bag, which I'm currently using and my, um, Vans, and I guess they'll also go. They'll also go pretty cute with. What do you think? Yes. So that's it, you guys. Denim. I love it. I've been wearing it forever. Um, in fact, I was thinking about. I don't think I've ever had a denim bag before, like you know, a handbag purse. But when I was in high school, I did have my most favorite. Um, denim tote bag that I use for to carry my books. It was a denim tote bag with patches on it. I love that bag. I put pins on it. It ended up getting holy and ribbed and fell apart. I wish I still had it. Um, so just out of curiosity, I googled 90s tote bag with patches. You guys, I found it. I think, I don't remember the brand. I think we either got it at the Gap or Express or a spree I don't know where we bought it but I found the bag I'll post a picture of it here people are actually selling it so I've been contemplating hmm do I want to buy it just for nostalgia reasons I don't know being silly but anyways you guys let me know if you are a fan of denim handbags denim shoes denim accessories I definitely am a fan I like I said I have so many denim jeans and denim jackets, denim shirts, denim shoes, denim bags. Um, I love denim, so uh, I'm probably going to be getting more. I don't know which ones, but I will definitely share with you. So thanks everyone for watching. I plan to come back and make some more videos and not stay away for so long. So if you're not follow, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm way more active over there. Go say hi on Instagram. Same name, Veronica Sid with an O. The O in Veronica is actually a zero. Sorry. You guys, I'm out of touch. I'm like so rusty. But anyways, I wanted to make a video and say I'll be back. Hopefully, uh, um, it won't be too much. Too much time in between making a video. But like I said, um, thanks everyone who has subscribed. I'm finally past the 500 mark. Um, so keep subscribing, keep watching, keep liking. Thank you, everyone. Um, hopefully I can also work on making some collab videos because I've been watching so many collab videos and you guys are killing it, doing a great job. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone. And don't forget, uh, we do not like to pay full price. So if you find a deal, let me know. Okay. Bye.